Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel 3D Studio Max Rigging Chapter 7. In this chapter, we'll move on to the torso part uh, for creating the controllers. Okay, circle and just to align them with the spine bones. Pivot point to pivot point, and right now just leave it okay. and just scale it down a bit so that I can easily be selected. Press F3, yes, my everything is outside the body. So, this will be our another spine controller, and I will just duplicate this to copy and align this to the next spine wing. so that will do and uh, right now what we will do is select the bones animation constraint and orient constraint and select the controllers and you will see it will flip down uh, this happened because uh, we haven't used the offsetting value or offsetting or we haven't actually matched the orientation of the bones and the controllers so we can fix this up uh, in the motion panel and under the rotation as we have used the orientation constraint you will see there is an option called keep initial offset switch on this and you will see the problems we gone uh, same thing we will do with this uh, next spine joint constraint select so first we have to select the child one then we have to select to the controller so orientation again go on to the okay, initial offset so now this has been connected but the thing is you'll see that the uh, rotation has been done with the individual joints but uh, the entire body is not actually following okay for creating that uh, connection select the upper spine controller and select a link and make the child of the lower one okay right now if I uh, select this controller and I rotate this now you can see the upper body is completely uh, following the no uh, this controller so that is the important part now what do you have to use a right click and freeze transformation okay I can make this right click all try click freeze transformation uh, we have to use the freeze transformation for both the controllers and uh, this is the pelvis one sorry the hip one and right now I'm going to create the uh, pelvis joint or pelvis controller sorry so for creating pelvis or uh, center of gravity we'll use uh, you can use star or maybe rectangle whatever you want to use fine and uh, make it maybe five points uh, leave it to six no problem okay now uh, <coughs> select this and just align to the pelvis okay and scale it down a bit press f3 see this is visible quite clearly fine now <coughs> Now what we will do, we will not going to orient this because uh, this is the joint which uh, through which we can, uh, I want to move the entire body. Uh, the movement is also will be added uh, towards this. So for creating that, I will just simply make this uh, joint this child of the controller. So the controller is actually have the rotation power and also the movement. So you can see, yeah, the entire body is moving, but uh, the controllers are not connected with the uh, the pelvis. So what we will do is uh, select the controller and just the hip controller and just uh, link it to the to the. Uh, Okay, now for linking, what we'll do, we go to the uh, uh, select and link option, 
first uh, we'll select the child and then link it to the parent the desired parent in this case which is the star and the parent has been created and also the rotation so it's uh, uh, it's also controlling the rotation of the hip movement and the pelvis controller is actually you know uh, controlling the rotation and also the uh, positional so that's my upper body which is uh, right now perfectly working now what we'll do I'll just connect this uh, upper body uh, controller with the pelvis controller so right now uh, if I move the pelvis you can see the entire skeleton system is actually moving and there is no problem with that so that was uh, I wanted okay now uh, I think uh, I made some mistake the something is not right over here it's rotated um, it go to the front viewport yes it's not straight so something is wrong out there let me fix this up where is the problem uh, oops, transform transform nope I think oh it's, uh, sorry it's uh, I have to control it I, I think I have accidentally yes that's it the rotation value is has some garbage value. so okay fine now that has been fixed out uh, but uh, I have uh, get back few few steps so let me check it's fine rotation fantastic now that is the problem I saw sorry that's uh, where I have to redo the things I reconnect with the pelvis it's moving but it's only the controllers then that means I have to again con connect the bones also select the pelvis join and select and link with the pelvis controller so that's it fine uh, so my torso part has been uh, connected now in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to create the clavicles so thank you very much